viewers welcome to tech study cell today we will measure the breakdown voltage of different zener diode with the help of this circuit nowadays the zener diode is very common in electronic circuit we can use the zener diode to protect our circuit from any voltage spike you can also use it as a cheap voltage regulator so it is very important to identify the breakdown voltage of a zener diode you can see the breakdown voltage is not written on the body of the zener diode but following some easy step you can easily identify the breakdown voltage of zener diode now this is a symbol of a zener diode this is an anode terminal and this is a cathode terminal and the zener diode is always connected in reverse bias as you can see the cathode terminal is connected to positive terminal of the battery and anode terminal is connected to negative terminal of the battery now the practically the zener diode will look like this the two terminal and a band on the body looking at this black band on this body i can easily identify the cathode and anode terminal as you can see this is a black band so this should be the cathode terminal and this should be the anode terminal of the zener diode thus we can easily identify the cathode and anode terminal now with the help of this circuit we can identify the breakdown voltage of this zener diode now if you don't have any variable dc power source this circuit will help you to identify the breakdown voltage now i am mixing up all these zener diode so i should not know the breakdown voltage of each diode to make the circuit i will require 3 9 volt battery a 10k resistor some crocodile clip to connect the circuit and a voltmeter i am using this multimeter as a voltmeter here let me complete the circuit first i am connecting the 3 9 volt battery in series as i have shown in the schematic it is very easy to connect these batteries in series as i am showing you now our power source is ready next i will connect this resistor with the positive terminal of the battery using a crocodile clip now this is a positive terminal of the battery i am connecting the resistor with it now we will use two pair of crocodile clip to connect the zener diode in one side and the voltmeter in the other side now after the resistor i am connecting these two crocodile clip and in the negative terminal i am connecting these two black crocodile clip to connect the voltmeter and the zener diode now our circuit is ready to test the zener diode you can see i have selected dc voltage and scale is 200 volt now i will connect the both lead of the multimeter according to schematic in this way so using crocodile clip i can easily connect this multimeter to measure the voltage across the zener diode As you can see in the reading it's showing 27 volt as I have connected 3 9 volt battery in series. Now we will connect the zener diode. Now this is the zener diode I have already discussed. Looking at this band you can easily identify the this terminal is cathode and this terminal is anode. Now we have to connect the cathode terminal of the zener diode with the positive terminal of the battery and anode terminal should be connected with the negative terminal of the battery now you can see the reading is showing 23 volt which indicate this zener diode is a 24 volt zener diode the breakdown voltage is 24 volt now i will identify the breakdown voltage of this zener diode you can see the black band is here so this is a cathode terminal and this is an anode terminal so I have to connect the positive lead of the battery with the cathode terminal and negative lead of the battery with the anode terminal to see its breakdown voltage. Now it's showing 14.7 which indicate this is a 15 volt zener diode. After that I will test this zener diode. You can see again this is a black band so this is a cathode terminal. I am connecting the positive terminal of the battery with the cathode to see the breakdown voltage and it's showing 11.7 
so this is a 12 volt general diode last I will check this general diode you can see the band is here so I am connecting the cathode with the positive terminal of the battery and it's showing 5.2 so this is a 5 volt general diode which breakdown voltage is 5.2 Thus, we can easily identify the breakdown voltage of this Jena diode with the help of this tester. Now, if you have a variable DC power source, you can easily identify the breakdown voltage of the Jena diode using this circuit. For that, the supply voltage of the variable power source should be greater than the breakdown voltage of the Jena diode. Now, this is a positive terminal of the power source. I am connecting a 10K resistor with the positive terminal. Then with the help of a crocodile clip, I am connecting the cathode terminal of the Jena diode. Now I will connect the negative terminal of the DC power source to anode of the Jena diode. You can see the black band is here. Let me show you. Black band is here. So this is a cathode and this is an anode. And I have connected the positive terminal with the cathode and negative terminal with the anode now I am turning on the power supply if I check the voltage across the Jena diode with the help of this multimeter you can see 14.7 is the output so this is a 15 volt Jena diode thus we can easily identify the breakdown voltage of the Jena diode while testing the breakdown voltage of Jena diode, if you find no voltmeter reading across the Jena diode or if it's showing zero value, then the Jena diode is faulty. Thus, we can also identify whether the Jena diode is in good condition or not. Now, another important specification of the Jena diode is wattage of the Jena diode. Now, I have two Jena diode in my hand, both having same breakdown voltage, which is 5 volt. But the size of this Jena diode is different. This is larger in size and this is smaller in size. Looking at the size of this Jena diode, I can say this is a 1 watt Jena diode and this is a half watt Jena diode. Thus, we can identify the wattage of the Jena diode looking at the size of the Jena diode. I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you find this video helpful, please hit the like button and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe our channel for more such videos. And if you have any suggestion or any query, please feel free to comment in the comment section so that we can improve our video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.